Hello and welcome to African Brands. This is the voice of brands, a brand that promotes visibility as well as value. The beauty industry's growth has boomed in recent years in a trend that may link to a broader generational trend of attention to physical well-being. Talking about physical well-being, Ms. Blessing Kiobel, a major player in the beauty industry and Chief Executive Officer, Hollywood Beauty and Med Spa, takes us on an insider journey through her indigenous brand. My name is Emma Isu and I'm certain you'll enjoy this. <music> Blessing Kiobel, Chief Executive Officer, Hollywood Beauty and Med Spa. Um, my company actually started from um, California, Hollywood, California, and that's what came about the name. And, you know, I came to Nigeria to start a business in December of 2020, and I wanted to come here and make a difference and create opportunity for others. And we have over 31 services we have from teeth whitening to um, glutathione treatments. We call it a cocktail because it has the vitamin B12, vitamin Bs, and all of your necessary vitamins that you need. And we also have the salon sections, we have bobbing, we braid hair, we fix wigs, and we have the treatment, the med section of all the Wood Beauty and Med Spa where we do. Um, enhancement, bot enhancement, breast enhancement, any type of enhancement that you need. Um, fillers, we do Botox if you have wrinkles on your face and you're trying to look young again. We have that, we have facials, we have different types of facials. We also sell products coming from the US. So every single thing that we use in our spa is from the United States of America. And so, and I could go on and on, massage, nails, <laughs> pedicure, you can name it. <laughs> so it basically is your one-stop spa for everything. The mission is to provide excellent service to, uh, in an affordable rate um, to every individual. So anyone can walk in here and get a treatment. You can come in and get a massage, you can come in here and get your nails done, you can come here and get your lashes done, your microblading, ombre. So pretty much everyone can walk into the spa and get an, a service in an affordable rate and in the healthiest way possible. We, um, we're very big on our um, safety, on our um, safety basically, we're, we're very big on hygiene over here. We're very big on, you have to, we cannot have for example, I go to a place where they have reusing needles. All they do is sterilize it. We don't do that here. It's one needle per um, client. If we run out of needle, we're not accepting any clients. You have to wait until we order more. So we're very concerned about our health. We're very concerned about the services that we provide. It has to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. It has to be 100% perfect I don't care if anyone is watching or not but I know that we have to provide we have to bring our a game and that's what we do and customer service we're very big on customer service we treat our customers we believe that customers are always right so you come here you're not satisfied with your service we'll make sure we make it right for you that's our mission 
And our vision is to take Hollywood Beauty um, and Med Spa into every state in Nigeria and outside of Nigeria. So um, in a few years time, you're gonna be hearing about us in every state. To be honest with you, I'm gonna be honest, I think um, they're trying. Um, however, there's still some loopholes which I think can be fixed if we forget about who is watching and try to do the right thing. And like I brought up an example where, where we do tag remover, skin tag remover, right? And they use needles in the skin tag removers. And we ran out of our needles and then we called other spas to see if they sell the needles. And they said, no, the way we do it up here is we sterilize it and then we use it on a different client. And I told them, no, we ain't doing that here. We're gonna make it right. We're gonna do the right things. And so I think we're locking in some areas that can be fixed. And, and I think it would only probably take the government to regulate that in the beauty sector. Come in once a year and try to inspect and see how we're running things, including me. I wanna be inspected too. I wanna be checkmate. I want you, I wanna make sure that my environment is clean, is conducive, my lab room is clean, we're not seeing particles everywhere, we're not seeing blood, we're not everywhere it's maintained as clean, as sterilized, as it's it's disaffecting. So we need that. It, it's not done. The cleanliness level is zero in my opinion, in other some of the spas that I've seen. You go to a spa, you're not wearing gloves to take care of the clients. You're supposed to be wearing gloves between each client. You're supposed to wash your hands before and after attending to a client. That's what I call hygiene. That part of it is lacking that we need to fix. Factor in running a successful business. Some of the things I just mentioned, it would be providing excellent service. I tell my, some of the things that I tell my staff is, if you provide excellent services, it doesn't matter where you are people will come looking for you. So that's key factor. It's not about making quick money. It's not about making fast money. It's about providing excellent service. Yes. I've had people come to ask me, oh, is there no discount? No, I know what I'm providing, so there's no discount. First of all, we're using quality product. You're using quality product. You're just not sitting in your living room and you're just mixing things together just to provide, just to certify the people. No, you're providing excellent, you quality check. You're checking your product, ensuring that it's safe for your clients. You can't just throw things out there because you want to sell. No.